What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it's time to give you my upset alert games heading into week 9 of the 2023 college football season. We are now officially heading into the last weekend of college football here in the month of October. And October has been a crazy month. There's been full of upsets that have happened that we missed over the course of these upset alert videos. But in week 9, got another big time weekend of college football coming up. This is the last weekend before the playoff rankings come out as well. Uh, so we're going to give you my upset alert games heading into week nine. Looking back to week eight, uh, we didn't have any upsets that turned out to be upsets for us. I and mean, we missed a ton of games last week that, you know, had some upsets. You know, we saw Iowa lose to Minnesota. I mean, Iowa was the favorite going into that game, but single digit favor. Then, of course, we saw uh, Virginia upsetting North Carolina. That was the biggest shocker from this past weekend. And there were a lot of games that we missed. Like, just like I said, we missed a lot of games that were really upsets that had turned out to be upsets and everything. But we're going to give you my eight games total here, four games each, uh, four of the games that are most likely to be upsets, and then four games that are most not likely to be upsets. In order for me to call it an upset, the spread, again, has to be single digits in order for me to call it an upset. And again, whoever that highest ranked team is going into this weekend is definitely on upset alert. And like I said, I just do top 25 versus top 25 matchups and then top 25 versus unranked matchups. So again, that's how the video works. So let's get right into it here with my upset alert games heading into week nine of the 2023 season let's get right into it here and we'll start with my most not likely upset alert category uh, we'll start with this one we got oklahoma and candace this game's at noon eastern time on fox Oklahoma is favored by 10 points in this game, and the over and under is at 65 and a half. So they're expecting a lot of high scoring in this game. I mean, Oklahoma's defense has been very good this year. They're seven and zero going into this game. Um, it's not really just about been about the defense for this Oklahoma team. It's been about the offense as well. Last weekend, Oklahoma is coming off a really close win to UCF. Uh, going into this game against Candace, Candace has a bye week, you know, from this past weekend. So you got to wonder if an upset is likely to happen here, which I think a likely an upset could happen here. I don't know why Candace is, um, you know, a double-digit under, underdog going into this game, especially after Oklahoma's performance, you know, against Candace and everything, or actually against UCF from this past weekend. So. You, you don't want to sleep on this Candace team. They could potentially pull off a huge shocker here on this Oklahoma team based off of what we saw from this past weekend. But like I said, Oklahoma is a very talented team. I don't really expect an upset here to happen. But again, Candace is a really good football team. So watch out for this one to be a really big upset here this weekend. But this game's at noon Eastern time on Fox. And again, the Sooners are favored by 10. And again, they're predicting this one to be a really high scoring shootout type game. So let's get right into the second game now here for my upset alert games. And we got BYU in Texas, so we stay here in the Big 12. This game's at 3.30 Eastern time on ABC. Uh, Texas is favored by 17.5, and, and the over and under is at 51. Obviously, a lot of concerns here for Texas going into this game. Uh, Quinn Ewer is likely out. Maybe not for the rest of the year, but maybe out for a while. Uh, no telling when he's going to be back for this Texas team, but obviously went down with an injury uh, this past week in Houston. And it was a really close game for Texas at the end of the uh, at the end of that game. Uh, Houston nearly pulled off an upset in that game. Uh, Texas playing against BYU here. BYU has been pretty good this year in the Big 12. I think, you know, they've been the best, you know, Big 12 newcomer team this year out of the new other newcomers in the Big 12, but I think BYU has been pretty much the best. Uh, you know, they got that win over Arkansas. They have a win this past weekend as well against Texas Tech. Uh, you got to wonder if the injury to Quinn Ewers is going to make Texas a little bit flat in this game. Uh, no telling who's going to be that starting quarterback. A lot of people want to see Arch Manning make his debut in this game and see how it goes, but I tell you what, I am definitely concerned about the quarterback position for Texas. I'm not too concerned about the defense though for Texas. I think the defense is going to make some you know big time stop stops in this game i don't really expect an upset here to happen but with the injury to quinn ewers uh, you could probably expect an upset here to happen but again this game's at 3 30 eastern time texas is at home in this game as well so i don't really ex expect an upset here to happen i just don't really see texas losing at home to byu either but again texas is favored in this game by 17 and a half points and again the over and under is at 51 so they're predicting this one to be a low scoring type game Moving on to the third game, we go to the Pac-12. We got USC and Cal. This game's at 4 o'clock Eastern time on the Pac-12 network. USC favored by 11, and the over and under is at 67 and a half. 
And that really shocks me. The spread number really shocks me that USC is favored by double digits in this game. Uh, USC is on a two-game losing streak. They lost to Notre Dame a couple weeks ago, and then they lost to Utah by a game-winning field goal this past weekend. So, yeah, I'm very shocked that USC is not on upset alert this weekend. If I was going to make a spread number on this game, I would definitely pick an upset alert type game to happen in this one because Cal is better than their 3-4 and four record. Uh, this is a Cal team, you know, that's definitely better than their 3-4 and four record. They've been very competitive in some games. They nearly pulled off an upset against Oregon State a few weeks ago. Uh, maybe they can pull off an upset here as well against USC. And what really shocks me as well is that USC is still ranked in the AP poll, at, even though they're on a two-game losing streak. Street. Their um, college football playoff hopes are definitely over, but I don't think their Pac-12 um, championship hopes are over just yet, but this is a trap game for USC. Uh, definitely going to be a tough one here, especially playing on the road at Cal, and I'm very surprised that this is a um, Pac-12 network type game. I'm very surprised that this is not a like a 7.30 kickoff time or maybe like a 10.30 kickoff time perhaps, and also an ESPN type game because I think very well clearly that Cal can pull off an upset here but like I said the spread is about double digits so an upset is not likely to happen here but based off of what we've seen in the last two weeks for USC I think an upset could potentially happen here so I got Cal and USC here uh, this game's at four o'clock eastern time again on the Pac-12 network and again the Trojans are favored by 11 points and again the over and under is at 67 and a half so we're kind of expecting a high scoring game here between two of these teams let's go to my last game now that is most not likely to be an upset upset alert type game and that is Georgia and Florida this game will be at 3 30 Eastern time on CBS the game's in Jacksonville it's a neutral site game Georgia is favored by 14 and a half and the over and under is at 47 I've done a game preview slash game prediction on this game I think Georgia definitely the more talented team going into this game and I think Florida will be competitive in this game. I just don't think it will be quite enough to pull off an upset in this one. Uh, Georgia also coming out of a bye week. Florida's coming out of a bye week as well, so both of these teams had to figure things out uh, before they played each other and everything. But again, I just don't really see an upset happening here. I think after that bye week, that helped out Georgia. I think it's going to help them out really good. And I think, you know, going into this game, Georgia will look like that kind of like dominant number one team in the country. But again, Florida, you know, this is a rival game. You never know what can happen. Maybe Florida does does compete for all four quarters but again I just don't really see an upset happening here I just think Georgia is I think Florida's just not quite on Georgia's level just yet like they used to so again this game will be at 3 30 eastern time on the CBS channel the last time we'll see Georgia and Florida go at it on the CBS channel and again Georgia's favored by 14 and a half and the over and under is at 47 going to be a low scoring type game I believe in this one so these are my games that are most not likely to be upset alert type games I'm heading into week nine this weekend let's now go to the most important games the most likely upset alert games and we'll start with this one it's Oregon State and Arizona this game will be on 10 30 eastern time on ESPN uh, Oregon State favored by three and a half and the over and under is at 56 and a half this game is kind of similar to the USC uh, versus um, Cal game um, I'm not very surprised that this is an upset alert type game because Arizona has been a really good team this year. They're better than that four and three record as well. They're kind of like similar to Cal. They're the best four and three team in the Pac-12 and mainly probably in the country. Uh, Oregon State, you know, they're coming out of a bye week this weekend. They're playing on the road at Arizona, though. Gonna be a very tough place to play. I think this is also a trap game for Oregon State. Very important game here. If they win this game, they're definitely in that Pac-12 conversation. But if they lose this game, it wouldn't really shock me if that Oregon State lost this game, though, because I think an upset is definitely like likely to happen. Remember what Arizona did to Washington State on the road? That was definitely a big upset there, but it wasn't really just an upset. It was a blowout in that game. So, again, I think Arizona is better than that 4-3 and three record. I think this is a, a definitely a game to keep an eye on. It is a game that can really likely be an upset. But this game's at 10.30 Eastern time on ESPN. Again, Oregon State is favored by 3.5, and, and they're sitting there at number 11 in the country. So, let's, get, so let's, let's now go to my second game now that is most likely likely to be an upset alert type game. Uh, we got Tennessee and Kentucky here at 7 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN. Tennessee favored by 3.5 in this one, and the over and under is at 51.5. Uh, this series has been dominant, dominated by Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee's coming off a loss to Alabama. How will they redeem themselves after, you know, giving up a bunch of points in that second half? And, you know, Tennessee should have won that game. They went into halftime with, like, a full big advantage over Alabama this past weekend. Uh, they had the lead, like, 20-7, to and then Alabama just comes out 
out of nowhere, and pretty much Tennessee just could not stop the Alabama offense from there. Tennessee, though, you know, we have to see the offense get going in this game. I don't think the offense is very talented as it was from last year. Uh, they're not the same kind of, like, attacking offense that we saw in the first two years under Josh Heupel. But this is a rival game between Tennessee and Kentucky. Kentucky is coming out of a bye week um, in this game coming up this weekend against Tennessee. So I think the bye week will kind of help out Kentucky. But we do kind of expect an upset here to happen. You know, Kentucky's been close with Tennessee now in the last couple years. I know last year's game was a completely a blowout. But again, Tennessee heading on the road in this game. They're heading for back-to-back road games. Again, coming off a loss to Alabama, how will they fare against this Kentucky team? And I also was surprised that Tennessee was in the AP poll as well, which doesn't really make any sense because Tennessee doesn't have like a resume. Uh, Kentucky, though, and Tennessee, both teams with 5-2 and two records. They both have the same records in the SEC as well. So this game's at 7 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN. And again, it's a rival game here in the SEC East. We've seen some pretty good matchups now in the later part of the years. But again, Tennessee has dominated this series. You know, they have 83 wins in this series. So Tennessee, again, favored by 3.5 in this one. Let's now go to the third game now. And we got Duke and Louisville here in the ACC. This game's at 3.30 Eastern time on ESPN. Uh, the Cardinals are favored by four points in this game, and the over and under is at 46 and a half. Duke coming off a loss to Florida State. Uh, they didn't really get penalized that much in the AP poll after losing that game. Obviously, Duke lost their starting quarterback in that one. He wasn't really healthy going into that game. And that's obviously a big concern for this Duke team heading into this weekend against Louisville. Uh, Louisville's coming out of a bye week this weekend. They have that big win over Notre Dame on their resume. This has been a very big surprise team this year. Obviously, Louisville with that loss to Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago. It was definitely like a loss that really was, you know, unacceptable. But I think this Louisville team is still a really good team. I think Jeff Brom has done a really good job in his first year, but this will be this will definitely be a dog fight. I mean, this game kind of decides who's the second best team in the ACC because that ACC is definitely wide open for that second place spot. Florida State likely already heading to the ACC championship, but who will they play? I mean, North Carolina lost to Virginia this past weekend. I mean, it's going to be either Louisville or Duke, perhaps, but it can be anybody. Miami is still in that conversation after a win over Clemson, so but this will be a dogfight here between Duke and Louisville. This game, again, is at 3.30 Eastern time on ESPN. The Cardinals are um, going into this game with home field advantage, but they're also the favorites by four points in this one. And we're expecting a defensive battle here in this one as well. As you see, the over and under is at 46.5. That is my third game that is most likely to be an upset. Uh, let's now go to the last game here that is most likely to be an upset. It's one of the biggest games coming up this weekend. Uh, maybe not the biggest game coming up this weekend, but college games. Game day will be down here for this one. And it's going to be Oregon and Utah here in the Pac-12. This game will be at 3.30 Eastern time on Fox. Utah, fa or actually Oregon, favored by 6.5 points. And the over and under is at 49. Meant to say that Utah has home field advantage going into this one. Both teams have 6-1 and one records. Obviously, Oregon coming off a 14-point win against Washington State. It was a little bit of a flat performance, but... Um, Oregon, a couple weeks ago, they took their first loss to Washington. Uh, they're heading on the road in this one. Utah also with a 6-1 and one record coming off a win against USC by a game-winning field goal. Uh, Utah, their offense, again, has not been very good this year, but the defense just continues to find out how to win games here. Um, you know, their offense just, you know, without Cam Rising in there, they're just not a really good offense at all. I said that in my game preview slash game prediction on this game from yesterday. And, yes, I am picking Utah to go with an upset here because I think Utah, after – that win over USC is going to give them some momentum for the rest of the year. And also, Utah was has home field advantage going into this game, which makes this game really tough to predict and also make a game preview slash game prediction on this one. But yesterday, I did pick Utah to win this one by seven points. I mean, obviously, Oregon is the favorite going into this game because they just have the better offense. But defensively, Utah has the better defense. So I think we're kind of expecting a defensive battle here between these two teams. But it will be a dogfight here. I mean... This is obviously a Pac-12 game. All these Pac-12 teams have been beating up all of each other. And I think Utah and Oregon are going to do the same thing here this weekend, beat up on each other and everything. And I also think this is who decides who is the second or third best team in the Pac-12 because the Pac-12 is definitely wide open. It's been a crazy conference. And obviously I'm going to miss the Pac-12 a lot next year uh, when they go.
go to the Big Ten, like Oregon and Washington are going to go to the Big Ten. Same thing with UCLA and USC. But this game will be at 3.30 Eastern time. Again, college game day will be down here for this game this weekend. And again, it's a Fox game, and the Ducks are favored by 6.5, and, and the over and under is at 49. So those are my most um, likely upset alert games heading into this weekend. And those are my upset alert games totally for the um, for the weekend heading into week nine of the 2023 college football season. Uh, let me guys know what you think about these upset alert games. Who do you see getting upset um, this weekend? Uh, we'll have an, well, we have another crazy weekend, but we're now heading into the last weekend of the month of October uh, before the playoff rankings come out um, next week as well. But give me your thoughts on these upset alert games. Um, who do you see getting upset at this weekend? Let me do it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.